All right, guys, welcome back here, and you're watching Fix 369 YouTube channel. And today we're going to be talking about how you can put your iPod Nano into that diagnostic mood. Now, the first question you probably think, why would you even want to put your iPod Nano 7 generation into the diagnostic mode for? Well, especially you want to place it in there is because when you're running through some of the problem, let's say your touch is very slow or maybe your Bluetooth is not working or maybe your display is flickering or maybe you have problem with your speaker or you have let's say a lot of problem that you're running through. In that point of time, you probably want to put your iPod Nano into the diagnostic mode. Now, now to do that, all you have to do is to press all those buttons, the menu button, power button, volume up button and down button, you have to press all of them at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and press all those buttons together, so volume up button, down button, and then I'll press that home button and the power button simultaneously, okay? Just like that and keep it holding unless you see the Apple logo appears, keep it holding. Okay, everybody, now after pressing and hold all this button just like that for about, let's say, 10 to 15 seconds, you'll be able to come across this option, which is so-called that diagnostic options. Now, from here, you can do a lot of things. Now, first of all, it started with the battery voltage and it goes all the way to power draining modes. Now, if you go back from here, first of all, and then it's going to give you a lot of options. Let's say you have problem with the power, audio, or let's say uh, remote LCD, or let's say you have problem with your flickering, let's say your display flickering, you have to open up your LCD, and afterward, you need to check this option. Just go ahead and press your home button, and then it's gonna give you the different color. Press it twice, press it again. Now, just go ahead and check out this color. If it gives you these three different color, that means your display is all right. Okay, now after taking your display, all you can do, you simply can click on go back and here you can do other things. You can check out your FM, memory, touch panel, Bluetooth and a lot more. And also you can check out your memories. Now, if something goes wrong with your memories, you simply can test these out. Now, if you just press on this middle button and then if you just choose the first one, which is called DRAM, Go ahead and press it out and then you'll be able to see now this is going to test your memory on your iPod Nano. So these are the ways that you guys can literally follow on your iPod Nano in order to give the troubleshoot by putting your iPod Nano into that diagnostic mode. Now, if you want to exit out of the system, then all you want to do, you have to press that power button and that home button simultaneously unless you see that your display flashes or maybe you see the Apple logo appears and that means your iPod Nano will be get back on work. Okay, everybody, so this is the process that you guys can follow in order to put your an iPod Nano 7 generation into the diagnostic mood, and this is how you can do that. Hope you find this video useful. If it's so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.